The government of Kenya has been loaded for its peacekeeping efforts around the continent by the American government. In a meeting with Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, General Michael E. Langley, combatant commander for the United States Africa Command said it was commendable that Kenya, as an anchor country in the region was involved in the various ongoing peace processes around the continent. Things that are going on in the DRC, the challenges there. And then when the Special Envoy Hamer contacted me and said, hey, we have a anchor country that wants to really be involved in the peace process in Ethiopia. Please get the key players down to South Africa to do that. In the pivotal country that he was speaking of was Kenya, affecting a ceasefire and a way ahead for peace and security in that region. And then the DRC, when I was in Angola last week for the Marine, Marine Corps birthday. Who were the regional leaders, even as Angolan, uh, or involved with the lead of that within the DRC was Kenya. That's the story I need to have into my narrative. That needs to be the story as we go into the Africa Leaders Summit. So I congratulate you and the cabinet and moreover the president of the United States and the former president, uh, Kenyatta, and his efforts as well. That's a shining example of the good news stories I need to put into my report right, for our partnership and capacities, you know, from the ambassador down to the, the down to the defense piece of partnership and capacity. Deputy President Gashagoa also thanked the U.S. government for the support it has given Kenya over the years. I believe the West uh, means well for our country and our people. Absolutely. We continuously engage because uh, we have the mandate from the Kenyan people to engage friends and people who are supportive of our programs, people who are supportive uh, of our peace and security, and as such, we have no apologies for engaging the West continuously and we continue doing so uh, now and in the near future. So, I really want to thank you for getting time to come and, uh, well, thank and you. Thank us. you. Parliament recently approved the deployment of nearly 1,000 troops to the Democratic Republic of Congo as part of a regional force by the East African community to target rebel groups who have refused to disarm. Deputy President Rigati Gashagwa also requested the U.S. government for more support towards the peace efforts in the DRC by putting pressure on the actors in the conflict to agree to a peace process. The DRC, and, uh, request uh, your government support to give resources to our soldiers to train the DRC so that so that they can develop their own capacity. Yes. So that we have a sustainable uh, process. Because uh, our soldiers will not be there forever. We need uh, a strategy where we can start training the DRC soldiers so that at the end of it all they can take over the security of their own country. Yes. So that, that is one area we would uh, add the American government to consider. General Langley became the sixth commander of the United States Africa Command in August 2022. U.S. AFRICOM is one of six Joint Service Geographic Combatant Commands and is responsible for all U.S. military operations and activities to protect and advance U.S. national interests in Africa.